What is up you guys? Today I want to teach you the secrets to trading options that not a lot of people even know about and not a lot of people teach this for some reason. I, I honestly really don't know why and this is going to be kind of the beginning um, in this channel of the you know introduction to the world of spreads. So if you've been a long time viewer of mine we're going to be going over put debit spreads, call debit spreads, uh, put credit spreads, which is something completely different. Uh, we talked a bit last week about selling puts, um, but today we're going to talk about the call debit spread or what a lot of people call the uh, the poor man's call. And honestly, I think it's a pretty bad nickname because there should be no reason anybody should really be calling this a poor man's uh, option because honestly, this is one of the best ways that you can make money in the stock market. And we're going to explain that right now. So the call debit spread is a strategy that you would use if you are bullish on a stock, but you don't want to deal with theta decay. You guys got to remember 95 to like 99% of all options expire worthless due to theta or time decay, right? So you could have a call on Tesla. And even though Tesla's up 5% just today alone, you might not end up making money, right? It's, it's kind of crazy. But if you were to have something that were expire, you know, right now, let's see, um, August 28th, and you had one of these $2,650 calls, obviously, that would not be smart. This is so far out of the money. But if you were to have something like this, you're actually down 27%, down 16%, or maybe you're only up not even 1%. That's why I don't really tell anybody to buy a weekly or to buy anything out of the money. But this is all due to theta or time decay. So when trading a normal option, you have to basically be perfect. You have to be spot on with your timing uh, and exactly not only know the direction that the stock is going to go, but you have to actually know the specific timing behind it. Uh, as well, if you are bullish, you could also do a put credit spread, which I'm going to make a video on that later this week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below uh, to stay up to date with all of these different option strategies. But the call de debit spread is really going to be the bread and butter of a lot of people who don't have a ton of money, but they want to trade uh, bigger companies or they just want to make consistent money with trading options, right? So this is a bullish strategy. We talked about this. And in order for a debit spread, a call debit spread, we are going to be selling a call. So you would come up here and you would hit sell. We're going to sell a call. Let's do like September 4th at least. We're going to sell a call and then we're going to buy a call. And this is what's going to create our spread. So we are going to buy a call because we're bullish, right? We're bullish on stock. So we want to buy the call, but then we're going to sell a call as essentially an insurance policy. So if you think to yourself, you buy a brand new house, you don't think that house is going to burn down. You don't think that house is going to be worth less money. You don't think the house is going to have a flood or a hurricane. Like Nobody thinks about that. But everybody buys insurance because you want to have coverage in case something bad happens. So in this case, we would hit, um, we're going to go over specifically how to do this, but we would sell this $2,135 call and we would actually buy a $2,130 call. And this would say a call debit spread. We're going to go over that um, in a little bit, uh, specifically how to set all this up. But, you know, we're selling the call because we want to have insurance. We're buying a call because we want to basically reap the benefits of the stock going up. And the cool thing about this is that trading an option normally is very expensive. Let's say we wanted to just buy this call on Tesla. This would cost us, let's see, for one contract, this would cost $11,125. And so for many people, they might not even have $11,000 in their portfolios or they don't want to risk $11,000 on one position. So instead, if you wanted to actually go ahead and create a call debit spread, look at now what that's going to cost you. So you could actually play this option. You could actually play the bullish side of Tesla and you'd only have to pay $230. That's your max cost. That's what your collateral is going to be. And this allows you to do this for essentially any company. So if you're somebody who only has maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars in your portfolio, but you like the way that Amazon is setting up or you like the way Tesla is setting up, you can actually go ahead and set up a bull debit spread. Uh, I mean, a uh, call debit spread 
and you can only pay a fraction of that. So instead of spending, you know, $4,365, we're only putting up $480. Um, and the reason for this is because we are only in charge of the spread. So you can see normally, like I said, for Amazon, it would be $4,384. But since we are buying one and selling one, the only thing we have to come up with is this uh, spread between this. So in this case here, that's a spread of $10. You can even do it with something, let's say you, you really want to use something simple here, um, AMD. You take a look at AMD. And let's say we wanted to sell this $86.50 call and we wanted to buy an $86.50 call. Well, this is all you have to come up with. It's the difference between these two. So this would cost $1.55. This would cost $1.79. So the spread between that is 28 cents, 28 cents times 100. Because remember, anytime we're dealing with contracts, it's times 100. Well, we don't have to put up $28 to play this. And that is one of the most amazing things about it is you don't need a lot of money. Um, now you got to be thinking to yourself, what's the downside, right? If you can essentially eliminate theta decay, you can play higher price stocks uh, for basically a fraction of the price and not even have to worry about the timing of it. What's the catch, right? And <laughs> there is a catch. The catch is that you are going to limit the amount of profits that you can make. So say we were trying to do a call debit spread on AMD um, and AMD were to, let's see, it's up near its all time highs. And let's say AMD were to go up this week somehow to $160 a share. Well, if we had a normal option, we could be up maybe 1,000%, 2,000%. But in this case, we would only be up our max profit, which kind of sucks, right? Because if if this stock really broke out, if AMD really broke out, we'd be missing out on a lot of money. So that is the issue. But in my opinion, that never really happens, right? It, it, it's not worth paying a higher premium. It's not worth dealing with theta decay. It's not worth limiting your chances just to get unlimited gains. I would rather cap my gains but cover my downside any day of the week because it really is that much better over a long term, uh, over the, long, the life of your portfolio, essentially. Um, I don't care about having huge, crazy gains one day or one week and then a couple days later, you know, taking taking a bit of a spill or not selling in time and theta eating it away. So that, that for me, that is a very small downside to the amazing upside that we have with this. Um, but one thing that not a lot of people understand is what your max profit is. This is something I see from a lot of people. They don't know what their max profit is. So in order to find your max profit, you would, well, actually, in, let's do this first. I'm going to show you guys how to actually set up this spread. So let's take AMD. AMD is trading at $86.78. So I'll go to this $86.50 call. So you got to make sure you're up here and you're going to hit sell. You want to sell the call. So we are going to sell a call for, I don't want to do this Friday. Um, we're going to sell a call for September 4th and $86.50 looks good. So you're going to hit the plus button. Now on mobile, there's going to be a little spot up in the top right. You're going to hit select and you're going to want to do that. And then it'll allow you to do all this. So you want to hit sell. You want to hit call. Then you're going to go to buy. This should turn gray. And you're going to go down to the call below it. Do not go to the call above it. Go to the call below it. And we are going to purchase this call right here. And if you do it correctly, it will say right here, call debit spread. If you do it incorrectly, it might say something else. It might not say anything at all. Robinhood will tell you if you're doing it right. Make sure it hits and says call debit spread. If not, go back, rewatch this video. Now we are going to have to put up 28 cents because that's the difference between these two prices right here. 28 cents. So if we hit continue, 28 cents times one contract is 28 bucks. We could do 10 contracts. We could do 100. We could do 1,000 contracts. But let's say you wanted to do one. Here's your one contract. Now, in order to figure out what your max profit will be for this trade, you have to take your two strikes. So $86.50 and $86. You're going to minus these, which means you're going to be left with 50 cents. So 50 cents is what you're going to be left with. And then you have to minus what you're paying for the premium. So 50 cents minus 25 cents, because 
you have to remember if I get rid of this, you're going to have um, it's times 100. So 50 cents, which is the difference between 86.50 and 86 dollars, minus the premium we're paying. The premium we're paying is 25 cents. So 50 cents minus 25 cents is going to be what? 25 cents. Now, if you do 25 cents times 100 shares, that's 25 bucks. So in this instance, we are risking $25 in order to make $25. Now, that might not seem that crazy. You know, if we wanted to add t a 10 there, we'd be risking 250 to make 250 That might not sound like the best trade to you, but here's the thing. You don't have to deal with theta. And as long as AMD closes above $86.50 by your expiration, which in this case would be September 4th, you would make max profits. Um, that is the beauty of call debit spreads. Now, for me, I like to do put credit spreads. I'm going to make a video on that um, coming up this week. So do make sure you hit the subscribe button. But guys, this is, I don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this. I really don't. I guess because it's not as flashy. It's not as cool as posting these monster gainers. But it really, really, really limits your risk. Um, and you can still make great profits off of this. I know people who only have one, two, three thousand dollar accounts, and they're easily making three to five hundred dollars a week doing this. One of the best things for you to do, um, I don't have Think or Swim up right now because um, I have, I'm shooting this video on Robinhood. Uh, don't use Robinhood charts, please don't. I mean, use Think or Swim. I have tons of videos on uh, charting software, but primarily try to trade this on something that is steadily going up, right? Because you. Even if it were to fall and then come back up, you're, there's no decay. So there really is no downside to it. So make sure you're using proper expirations. Don't get something that expires in two days. Um, and make sure you're trading something that goes up over time. Even better would be actually learning technical analysis, which I have courses on down below. You get your first seven days 100% for free. We also have a Discord that you'll be a part of. We also live stream twice a day. It's a phenomenal phenomenal community to be a part of i'll put that link down below you get seven days for free but you know learn how to read charts and i'm telling you guys instead of just buying these calls where you're gonna lose money 90 percent of the time reduce your risk if you pay i mean if you play a pretty solid debit spread you'll make money seven eight out of ten times no problem so i hope this video helped you if you guys have any questions please link them down below i'm always down to help you guys out um if you need further explanation as well uh, shoot me an email. That'll be down there and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you guys uh, make sure you hit the sub button because we're gonna have more videos coming out this week on spreads and uh, until next time guys peace